सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कैनल देन आफ्टर दैट इरिगेशन सिस्टम्स टाइप्स ऑफ डैम्स एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज अ रेलवेज ओके इन मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन यूनिट नंबर 1 इटसेल्फ वी हैव कवर्ड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओके इन दैट we were discussed about the modes of transportation in that landways roadways uh, sorry landways waterways and airways okay in landways already we have discussed about the roadways railways then after that waterways and airways okay so they have mentioned a <coughs> separate point about the railways so now we are going to discuss about the railways okay this is one kind of mode of transportation is there okay and uh, here whatever transportation through the railways is advantageous for the long journey to transport the goods and passengers between different stations already we have discussed a lot about the railways means uh, for what kind of uh, transportation purpose railway is economical one feasible okay uh, what are the defects uh, what are the disadvantages are there in railways okay as like roadways railway will not be flexible okay roads are connecting door to door but uh, what are railways are there we don't go for uh, connection of the door to door that is the defect in the railways okay so basically railways we use uh whenever we have to transport material that is nothing but the goods or passengers from one place to the another place and the distance in between those places are more in that case we prefer the railways but wherever less distance is there we use the roadways okay the roads can act as the feeder system to cater the traffic from various near and far places means uh, here whatever railway tracks are there uh, network of railway tracks is uh, uh, throughout the uh, country okay but uh, not door to door uh, railway tracks are available so uh, we can say uh, whatever the roads are there through road roads we are approaching towards the railway stations and railways okay the energy required to haul a unit load through a unit distance is only a fraction of that required for the haulage through the roadways so we should make the use of railways as much as possible okay means uh, we have to face the lot of problems on the roads may be accidental and due to the traffic issues okay if we use the roadways then uh, whatever the distance is there in between two destination to cover it we require more time okay but uh, in a railways okay uh, whatever kind of energy is required to carry the material or passengers is less okay and we can connect the uh, number of bogies to the railway engine and we can transport the huge amount of goods and passengers at a time okay so that is the benefit of the railway some advantages are there of railways it facilitates long distance travel and transport of uh, bulky goods which are not easily transported through motor vehicles it is a quick and more regular form of transport because it helps in the transportation of goods with speed and certainty okay then uh, it helps in the industrialization process of a country by easy transportation of coal and raw materials at a 
cheaper rate means whatever raw material is required for the industry purpose okay that can be carried or that can be transported by using the railways in a very less cost okay so we prefer the railways for the transportation of raw materials as well as uh, whatever objects manufactured those objects also we can transport it by using the railways another advantages are there it helps in the quick movement of goods from one place to the another at the time of emergencies like famine and uh, scarcity it encourages mobility of labor and thereby provides a great scope for employment okay through the railways we can transport the goods and passengers within a time or also we can consider as a railway tracks are useful for the quick movements okay uh, such as uh, rajdhani express and all those things okay means whatever the distance is there in between uh, uh, mumbai and delhi okay it is too much uh, distance is there but that train covers within a uh, 12 hours okay so we can say it is uh, too much quick uh, uh, transportation system is there okay and in that also dependency is there means what kind of material we are going to uh, transport as well as whether we are going to transport the goods or passengers according to that its a uh, uh, movement will be depend okay in that different types of uh, trains are there okay also it provides a great scope for employment okay employment will be increase due to the more use of railways okay then uh, railway is safest form of transport the chances of accidents and breakdown of railways are minimum as compared to the other modes of transport moreover the traffic can be protected from the exposure to sun rain snow etc means whatever weathering conditions are there it will not affect on the uh, transportation of rail uh, goods and passengers through the railways okay as well as it is one of the safest uh, form of transport uh, whatever accidents are there may be uh, less amount of accidents happen okay uh, whenever transportation is done through the railways as compared to the roadways okay and also uh, traffic jam problems will not be there in case of railways okay as like uh, roadways okay the carrying capacity of the railways is extremely large moreover its capacity is elastic which can easily be increased by adding more wagons it is the largest public undertaking in the country okay we know that whatever things are there there if we want to uh, transport the more amount of material or goods then we can add the number of wagons to the engine okay and we can transport it railways perform many public utility services their charges are based on charge what the traffic can be your principles which helps the poor in fact this is the national necessity okay means whatever uh, railways uh, income is there from that uh, for mankind services they are using the funds and all those things okay for the development of the mankinds then some of the disadvantages are also there of the railways the railway requires a large investment of capitals means for the construction of the rails uh, uh, railway tracks and all those things the cost of construction maintenance and overhead expenses are very high as compared to other modes of transport moreover the investments are specific and uh, immobile okay means uh, whatever kind of construction we are going to done or do that will not be movable from one place to the another place okay uh, as well as here whatever uh, 
initial cost is there for the construction of the railway tracks will be more as compared to the roadways and all those things okay in case the traffic is not sufficient the investment may mean wastage of huge resources means here for the construction of the railway tracks we are going to spending lot of amount and if good kind of response if we are not getting means whatever uh, passengers or we can say transportation of goods will not be there then whatever we have spend the money it will be waste okay then uh, another disadvantages of railway transport is its inflexibility already i told you railway tracks are not flexible okay means uh, uh, door to door we can't go for the construction of the railway tracks and all those things as like roads okay that is the disadvantage is there it routes and timings cannot be adjusted to individual requirements okay it means as per the individual's requirements we can't uh, change the routes as well as timings of the trains okay rail transport cannot provide door to door service as it is tied to a particular track means a particular tracks only we are going to construct it and through these tracks only we are going to transport the uh, passengers and goods okay intermediate loading or unloading involves greater cost more wear and tear and wastage of time the time cost of terminal operations are a great disadvantage of rail transport okay means here suppose we have to uh, load the material from solapur and we have to unload it uh, unload it into the delhi means whatever we are going to transport the uh, goods from solapur to delhi in between these two destinations lot of stations will be there or cities are there okay if at some places some kind of material will be unloading and loading will be done okay for loading and unloading more time is required okay so uh, due to that it will be infeasible or uh, it takes more time uh, for the transportation also means it took more time uh, to travel the distance okay so that is also the disadvantage uh, disadvantage is there of the railway as a railways require huge capital outlay they may give rise to monopolies and work against public interest at large okay means here whatever railway tracks are there or whatever railways are there for that we require lot of money for the construction of the railway tracks as well as manufacturing the trains and all those things okay and those nowadays uh, whatever railways are there some railways are done Uh, as a, 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 a privatization of railways is done by the honorable prime minister okay and uh, those who have huge amount of money they they will uh, purchase the railways uh, or we can say purchase the trains and all those things due to that monopolies will be there okay and uh, whatever policies are there policies will get changes okay as per the uh, perception or as per the requirements of the owners of the trains and railways railway transport is unsuitable and uneconomical for short distances and uh, small traffic of goods it involves much time and labor in booking and taking delivery of goods through railways as compared to motor transport here whatever railway transportation system is there is useful for long uh, long uh, transportation or for long movement of the material and goods okay but if we use it for the short distance then uh, whatever loading unloading uh, for loading and unloading whatever time is required will be more and it will not be economical one for shortest distance okay and uh, also wherever less quantity of passengers uh, uh, being transport okay uh, for them uh, at that time also 
a lot of uh, man uh, labor costs railway has to spend okay means for booking purpose for uh, tracking the railway then after that taking the delivery and all those things okay so it become uh, uneconomical as compared to the uh, motor transport wherever we consider the for a short distance movement okay or transportation purpose so this was about the railways okay next point we are going to discuss that is nothing but the airways this is one of the mode of transportation okay here the transportation by the airways is the fastest among the four and by waterways it is slowest okay means so whatever modes of transportations are there out of which airways is a one of the fastest way okay travel by air also provides more comfort okay as like uh, railways through the airways comfortness will be more okay through the airways some advantages are there of the air transport in that first one is the high speed it is the fastest mode of transport and therefore suitable for carriage of goods over a long distance it require less time but uh, uh, whatever thing is there that is uh, whatever raw material and all those things are there we can't transport it through the airways because of whatever cost is required for the transportation of airways is too much more okay so whatever uh, uh, important things are there only we are going to transport through the airways also it provides the quick service air transport provides the comfortable efficient and quick transport services it is regarded as best mode of transport for transported you know, transporting perishable goods okay means those are uh, important goods are there maybe like gold diamonds and all those things such kind of goods we can transport from one place to another place no infrastructure investment airport does not give emphasis on construction of tracks like railways or roadways as no capital investment in surface track is needed it is a less costly mode of transportation here in with consideration of infrastructure airways is less costly mode of transportation okay if we are considering its fare and all those things with respect to the railway and roadways then it will become a more costly ओके तो ज्या वेळेस आपण फक्त आणि फक्त रेल्वे ट्रॅक ट्रॅकचा विचार करतोय त्यावेळेस एअरवे साठी कुठलेही ट्रॅक वगैरे कन्स्ट्रक्ट करायची गरज नाहीये फक्त तिथं काय करायला लागणार आहे आपल्याला एअरपोर्ट्स कन्स्ट्रक्ट करायला लागणार आहेत ओके त्यासाठी लागणारा जो काय आहे तो खर्च लागणार आहे आपल्याला ट्रॅक्स कुठले किंवा रोड्स वगैरे आपल्याला कन्स्ट्रक्ट करावे लागणार नाहीत देन इझी ऍक्सेस एअरपोर्ट एअर ट्रान्सपोर्ट इज रिगार्डिंग ऍज द ओनली मीन्स ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्ट इन दोज एरियाज which are not easily accessible to other modes of transport it is therefore accessible to all areas regardless the uh, obstruction of land okay means uh, not only aeroplanes but by using the helicopters and all those things we can reach uh, wherever we want to reach okay uh, so if there may not be there may be uh, may not be possibility of uh, provision of the roads or railway tracks but through the airways we can reach such destinations okay then uh, no physical barrier air transport is free from physical barriers because it follows the shortest and direct routes fear seas mountains and forests do not obstruct mean any kind of physical obstruction will not be there into the transportation system okay natural route aircraft travels to any place without any natural obstacles or barriers because the custom formalities are 
compile very quickly it avoids delay in obtaining clearance okay means so whenever uh, we have to transport the goods or materials from one place to the another place then in that case custom formalities we have to do complete okay and uh, those custom formalities will be done within a limited time okay because of whatever custom offices are there uh, whatever materials we have uh, purchased or we can say imported from other places then at custom offices we have to uh, pay the custom duties and then we have to take it uh, into our custody okay so for that purpose they are not doing delay uh, for custom clearance and all those things if you are doing delay then penalties uh, will be uh, charged okay to the parties okay ja kay apan parties vagare ahet kiwa apne ja kay company ahet teni jar kay ekada material vagare apan magavla kiwa apan import kele asal bahar cha deshat na vagare kiwa dusra tikana vur airport vur na tar tithe kay custom duty je ahet apna pay kar lagte tya material varti tar te je kay goshti je ahet te lavkarat lavkar कस्टम क्लिअरन्स केला जातो की जस जसा तुमचा टाइम डिले होत जाईल तस तसं त्याच्यावरती पेनल्टी जी आहे ती जास्त प्रमाणात लेड करते त्याच्यावरती ओके देन अनदर एडव्हान्टेज इज देयर ऑफ द एअर ट्रान्सपोर्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट द नॅशनल डिफेंस इट प्लेज अ सिग्निफिकंट रोल इन द नॅशनल डिफेंस ऑफ द कंट्री बिकॉज मॉडर्न वॉर्स आर कंडक्टेड विथ द हेल्प ऑफ एरोप्लेन्स Airways has a upper hand uh, destroying the enemy in a short period. Nowadays, you are uh, heard about the war in between Ukraine and uh, Russia. Okay, ठीक है. Through that also you can learn about the uh, advantages of air transport. Okay, some disadvantages are also there in that uh, risk. very cost uh, it is very costly then after that uh, small carrying capacity is there it is unreliable okay huge investment is required for the purchasing the aeroplanes for the construction of the airports as well as hangars and its maintenance cost is also more okay so these are the disadvantages are there of the air transport and if you want to compare roadways and the railways these are the different points are there its suitability width of right of way tractive resistance turning devices economy rate of accidents door to door transportation okay so these are the common points are there you have to consider it and you have to go for the compare in similar way here you can compare the roadways and waterways also in that also same points will be there its a sustainability width of right of way tractive resistance then turning devices economy rate of accidents door to door transportation okay and then roadways and airways also you can compare okay same points are there so you can write the comparison in between roadways airways and waterways okay relatively so this was about the airways next point is there that is nothing but the bridges okay uh, and uh, here one point i would like to share with you about the railways okay here whatever railway track is there हे जे आहे ते काय आहे आपली ट्रेन आहे हा दिस इज द ट्रेन एंड दिस इज द रेल्वे डू यू नो द डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन ट्रेन एंड रेल्वे माहिती का नाही हा बरं ठीक आहे त्याच्यानंतर व्हॉट एव्हर द रेल्वे ट्रॅक्स आर दिअर डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ रेल्वे ट्रॅक्स आर दिअर बेसिकली क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री कॅटेगरीज वन इज द नॅरो गेज सेकंड वन इज द meter gauge and third one is the broad gauge okay so 
शेयर व्हॉट एवर द डिस्टन्स इन बिटवीन टू रेल्स हे जे काय आहे त्याला काय म्हणायचं रेल्स म्हणायचं रूळ ओके हे दोन रुळामधलं जे काही डिस्टन्स आहे ते किती आपण ठेवलेले त्याच्यावरून काय करते तर ते रेल्वे काय करतोय आपण तर क्लासिफिकेशन करतोय किंवा एक तर ब्रॉडगेज आहे मीटर गेज आहे का नॅरो गेज आहे इन केस ऑफ नॅरो गेज वी आर ट्राईंग टू प्रोव्हाइड द डिस्टन्स इन बिटवीन टू रेल्स एज अ झिरो पॉइंट सेव्हन्टी फाईव्ह मीटर झिरो पॉइंट पंच्याहत्तर मीटर डिस्टन्स राहतं हे जे काही दोन रेल्वे ट्रॅक रेल्वे रूळ आहेत त्याच्यामधलं सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टन्स किती झिरो पॉइंट सेव्हन्टी फाईव्ह मीटर इन केस ऑफ मीटर गेज वी आर ट्राईंग टू प्रोव्हाइड वन मीटर डिस्टन्स इन बिटवीन टू रेल्स अँड इन केस ऑफ ब्रॉडगेज इट इज केप्ट ॲज अ वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स मीटर डिस्टन्स ओके इन बिटवीन टू रेल्स अँड हिअर ऑल्सो यू कॅन सी हिअर दॅट इज दी डिफरंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द रेल्वे रेल्वेज ओके हिअर दीज आर दी रेल्स these are the sleepers okay and uh, below the sleepers we go for the provision of the ballast okay as like similar of the road construction here also we have to go for the construction of the railway track means firstly we have to go for the construction of the uh, subgrade then after that we have to go for the uh, preparation of the subbase subgrade is nothing but whatever natural soil is there just we have to compact it okay uh that is nothing but the subgrade after preparation of the subgrade we have to go for the construction of the subbase in subbase different kind of materials we are going to uh, lead or fill okay as per the requirement whatever natural condition is there and what much slope we have to provide at that particular location according to that we have to go for the laying the number of layers into the subbase after preparation of the subbase then we have to go for the laying of a layer of a sub uh, ballast okay ballast are nothing but the whatever aggregates are there bigger size of aggregates are nothing but the ballast okay and over the ballast we have to uh, go for the laying the sleepers okay uh, sleepers manje kay tar aple je cement che khamb vagare aste baka ki lakdi khamb kiwa lokhandi khamb vagare takto baka railway track la perpendicular direction त्यालाच काय म्हणायचं स्लीपर्स म्हणायचं हे जे काय बलास्ट आहे खडी जे आहे त्याचा वापर काय होतोय तर ते शॉक ऍब्सॉर्बर म्हणून ऍक्ट होते ज्या वेळेस ऍक्टिव्ह फोर्सेस वगैरे ऍक्ट होते त्यावेळेस काय होतंय तर शॉक वगैरे क्रिएट शॉक वेव्ह क्रिएट होतात आणि ते शॉक वेव्ह क्रिएट झालेलं ते ऍब्सॉर्ब करण्यासाठी आपण इथं बलास्ट वगैरे किंवा जे काही लोड येणार आहे तो इव्हन जे डिस्ट्रीब्युट करण्यासाठी बलास्टचा युज करतोय आपण ओके आणि हे जे काही आपलं स्लीपर्स आहेत त्या स्लीपर वरती आपण रेल जे आहेत त्या रेस्ट करतोय की जेणेकरून ट्रेनचा जो काही येणारा लोड जो आहे तो सगळा लोड कशावरती असतो तर ह्या रेल्स वरती थ्रू रेल्स स्लीपर्स वरती जातो अँड थ्रू स्लीपर्स ऑन दी बलास्ट ओके दॅट लोड इज गेट ट्रान्सफर्ड ओके त्याच्यामध्ये जर काही तुम्हाला काही एखादा केमसीक्यू जरी विचारला तरी यू शुड बी एबल टू अँसर next point is there that is nothing but the bridges okay firstly we are discussing about the introduction of bridges bridge is a structure built to span a body or we can say here built to span physical obstacles such a body of water valley or road for the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle without closing the gap below bridge building is not a new science the sophistication in bridge building technology has been developed since before uh, too many days or ancient days also okay such kind of uh, bridges we were uh, construct okay 
or in other words we can say bridge is nothing but it is a structure which is built to carry transportation without disturb the natural flows or we can say artificial ways also okay that is nothing but the ब्रिज ब्रिज म्हणजे काय एक अशा प्रकारचं स्ट्रक्चर आहे की बाबा जे काही नॅचरल फ्लोज वगैरे आहेत ते विदाऊट डिस्टर्ब करता ज्यावेळेस आपल्याला ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन करायचं त्यासाठी आपण ब्रिजेस जे आहेत ते आपण कन्स्ट्रक्ट करतोय मग त्याच्यामध्ये आपले ओढे असतील नदी असतील नाले असतील किंवा अजून काही असेल ओके ओव्हर ऑन विच वेन एव्हर वी हॅव टू गो फॉर दी ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन इन दॅट केस वी हॅव टू गो फॉर दी कन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दी ब्रिजेस ओके हिअर बेसिकली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रिजेस आर दिअर it depends upon the uh, its uh, length of the bridge okay here first one is the culvert if length of the bridge is less than 6 meter if length of the bridge is less than 6 meter then such kind of bridge is nothing but the culverts c u l v e r t s okay then uh, minor bridges and major bridges are there minor bridges means if the length of the bridge is in between 6 meter to 20 meter then such kind of bridges are nothing but the minor bridges and major bridges are nothing but the length of the bridge is more than 20 meter then we can say it is a major bridge okay so these are the different uh, types of bridges are there here importance of the bridges is uh, to connect difficult terrains means uh, wherever uh, uh, difficulty is there okay while doing the transportation or while construction of the tracks okay in that case we have to go for the construction of the dams jaise ki baba hilly region hai okay आणि हिल्ली रिजन मधून जर काही समजा दोन हिल्स आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये एक फॅली आहे तिथून जर काही ट्रान्सपोर्ट करायचं म्हणलं तर डिफिकल्ट जात असेल तर त्या केसमध्ये आपण काय करतोय ब्रिज कन्स्ट्रक्ट करण्याचा प्रयत्न करतोय इझी ट्रेड अँड ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन ऑफ गुड्स देन रिड्युसेस ट्रॅव्हलिंग टाइम मिलिटरी यूज पॉलिटिकल अँड इकॉनॉमिकल इम्पॉर्टन्स लेस इमिशन ड्यू टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके सो वी विल here whatever bridges are there due to the construction of bridges we can minimize the traveling time okay jar kai samjha apan the bridge na construct karta jar kai ekad madhe saplya kadun jar kai reservoir vagare ala asel okay tar reservoir la purna apan asa purna beda ghalun jane peksha transport karna peksha apan title tithe apan jar kai bridge vagare construct kela tar ट्रॅव्हलिंग टाइम जो आहे तो रिड्यूस होईल ओके ऍज वेल ऍज फास्ट ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन वी कॅन अचीव्ह इट ओके ऍज वेल ऍज लेस इमिशन ड्यू टू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट मीन्स व्हॉट एव्हर इमिशन इज दिअर वी कॅन रिड्यूस इट ओके इफ वी आर गोईंग टू मिनिमाइज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके इन बिटवीन द टू डेस्टिनेशन दिस इज द section of the bridge okay different uh, elements are there here these are the columns or we can say piers or abutments okay if we are considering the internal supports then we can call as a, a pier and if we are considering these are the external supports are there end supports are there of the bridge is nothing but the abutment okay and this is the foundation preferably for the bridges we go for the provision of the pile foundations okay this is the pier cap then after that uh, this is the wearing surface that is nothing but the whatever course we are laying for vehicular traffic okay then this is the concrete slab then uh, fascia is there okay then steel beams or we can say girders also girder ko beam mane dela bridge drain elastomeric bearings okay means uh, whatever 
load is coming from the uh, top surface of the bridge okay that can be uh, transport transmit okay on the pier cap through the bearings okay here we can consider whatever the part is there below this line is a substructure and the above part is as a superstructure okay this much is not required to you people okay classification of bridges according to the flexibility of superstructure according to the position of bridge floor according to the interspan relation according to the form or type of superstructure so these are the different classifications are there of the bridges okay but you keep in your mind only three types of classification based on the span that is the culverts minor bridges and major bridges don't think about this okay these things are not required to you people then uh, different kind of loads will come on the bridges in that dead loads means whatever self weight is there of the bridge uh, structure that is nothing but the dead load live load will be there maybe in the form of vehicular uh, traffic load okay then buoyancy pressure will be there due to the water centrifugal forces will get develops as well as earth pressure will be there okay on the foundation of the bridges then the seismic load that is nothing but the earthquake uh, pressures or uh, due to the earthquake waves okay some kind of uh, loads will come okay on the bridge structure that is nothing but the seismic loads water pressure will be there whenever uh, uh, flow of water is going on okay then wind pressure will be there and the thermal forces will be there due to the variation of temperature such kind of uh, forces will also act on the bridges so you don't have to keep in your mind all those things because of these things are required to analysis and design of the bridges okay and analysis and designing of the bridges is not the part of your syllabus so don't think too much about it okay is not necessary planning and all those things uh aesthetic of bridges okay aesthetic means external views okay or appearance external appearance these things also will be applicable while you are selecting the type of bridge okay or its appearance ah steel bridges okay here generally whatever steel bridges are there might be you have seen on the railway stations okay when your passengers want to change the track or platform then in that case uh we go for the construction of the steel bridges okay steel is largely used in construction of bridge for short as well as long spans steel has been recognized as economic option for a range of bridges for long span bridges railways railway bridges foot bridges and medium span highway bridges the world's first cast iron bridge was built at telford in 1779 by abraham darby steel bridges now have a proven life span extending to well over 100 years means as compared to the Uh, concrete bridges we have to prefer the steel bridges because of the steel bridges are more uh, durable okay you can see here the 
this part is also not required hmm? classification of steel bridges and all those things reinforced concrete bridges okay here rcc is nothing but the reinforced cement concrete rcc bridges are the earliest form of bridges they are easy to construct arches are preferable fair bending moment is more and uh, they are easy to design okay means uh, here wherever bending moment is more in that case we have to go for the construction of the arches in a structure of bridge okay already we have discussed about the arch due to the arch action itself it tries to sustain the coming load over on it and is it uh, it trans uh, transfer it on the support okay त्यासाठी आपण काय करतोय त्या मित्र आरचा वगैरे वापर करतोय साइट सिलेक्शन फॉर आरसीसी ब्रिज स्ट्रेट रीच ऑफ द स्ट्रीम वूल फाउंडेशन वेल डिफाइंड फर्म बँक मिनिमम वेड ऑफ क्रॉसिंग अप्रोचेस ओके बाय कन्सिडरिंग दीज थिंग्स वी हॅव टू गो फॉर द सिलेक्शन ऑफ दी साइट फॉर दी आरसीसी ब्रिज जनरली वाईल constructing the rcc bridge uh, bridges okay uh, at that time we are trying to construct the bridges exactly in a perpendicular direction to the flow of uh, river or to the flow okay ji kai river asel kwa stream cha jo kai flow hai tela direct perpendicular direction ne apan kay karto tar bridges je ahet te apan tacha planning wagere kiwa tacha the construction je ahe te karto hai okay ki jene karun वॉटर प्रेशर वगैरे जास्त प्रमाणात आपल्या त्या ब्रिज वरती अप्लाय होणार नाही याची काळजी घेतली जाते हा नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ ब्रिज इज दिअर दॅट इज नथिंग बट दी सस्पेन्शन ब्रिज अ सस्पेन्शन ब्रिज इज अ टाइप ऑफ ब्रिज इन विच द डेक द लोड बेरिंग पोर्शन इज हंग बिलो सस्पेन्शन केबल्स on vertical suspenders i think you have heard about the howra bridge okay in west bengal hmm? that is the suspension bridge first suspension bridge was built in 1433 in eastern bhutan by thangtong galpo huh? suspension bridge is generally preferred so in the span is more than 200 meter for roadway or 300 meter for light traffic like light, uh, light motors there are two types of suspension bridge and stiffened deck type suspension bridge and a stiffening girder type suspension bridge is there okay this is the suspension bridge different components are there means here generally we are trying to avoid the provision of support to the bridge from bottom portion okay means uh, here um we are trying to construct the towers okay and uh, to that towers we are trying to connect the cable and to the cables okay uh, we are connecting the wire ropes and through these wire ropes and cables we are trying to hung the bridge elements okay or we can say bridge section that kind of uh, bridge is nothing but the suspended bridge suspension bridge okay in kota also you will found a comparison between steel bridge and rcc bridge and suspension bridge don't go for that also bridge failure ha ah, next point is there failure of bridge okay or causes of bridge failure different aspects are there in that earthquake fire boat impact flood construction accidents manufacturing defects design defects poor maintenance okay earthquake jar jhala tari pan bridge wagere fail ho sakto hai fire wagere aag wagere lagli tar boat impact mujhe ekadi ship wagere titun jar ka apan water wave water transport 
वॉटरवे थ्रू ट्रांसपोर्टेशन करता बोर्ड ऐसी करते इम्पैक्ट मु फ्लड पुरा मु कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्सिडेंट ओके जर का समझा क्वालिटी ऑफ मटेरियल अपन व्यवस्थित नहीं यूज के लिए मैन्युफैक्चर डिफेक्ट्स पुअर वर्कमैनशिप ज्यास अपन बेतोस ज्यास कंस्ट्रक्शन चालू पुअर वर्कमैनशिप ये मैन्युफैक्चर डिफेक्ट जे है राइज होते स्ट्रक्चर जे है कोलैप्स होने की शक्यता रहती है डिजाइन डिफेक्ट्स डिजाइनिंग मे का डिफेक्ट रहे एनालिस मे कि सगड़ा प्रकार से लोडिंग जे है कन्सल्टेसन के लिए नहीं के लिए गोष्टी मुकते नर पुनः पुअर मेन्टेन जो का मेन्टेन रिक्वायर्ड है ड्यूरिंग इट्स सर्विस लाइफ ऑफ द ब्रिज इफ यू डू नॉट गो फॉर टाइम टू टाइम देन ऑल्सो इट विल गेट फेल मेन्टेन ऑफ ब्रिजेस Part is there that is nothing but the tunnels. Okay, tunnels are underground passages used for transportation. They could be used for carrying freights and passengers, water, sewage, etc. Okay, means whenever we have to go for the transportation of different things to the Earth surface, we can go for the construction of the tunnels. The methods involved are underground operations known as tunnel driving, and the surface is not disturbed. Here, whatever trench we can say, whatever trench or suitable size of shaft we are going to construct through the ground. Without disturbing the over surface of the ground, okay. That is nothing but the tunnel. It is understood that first tunnel was constructed by Egyptian and uh, Baby Lonias about four thousand years ago. Okay. Advantages of tunneling. Tunnels are more economical than open cuts beyond certain depth. Means whenever we go for the construction of the different types of modes of transportation, maybe in case of roadways. Okay, after finalizing the alignment of the roads or railways. Okay, if our alignment. passes through the hilly uh, hilly region in that case we can't provide the slope to the roads more than 1s to 21 okay jo ka apna road ahe tya road cha jo ka maximum slope ahe to kiti asto 1s to 21 asto 1 meter vertical thevla tar horizontal distance kiti 21 मीटर त्याच्यापेक्षा जास्त ठेवू शकत नाही म्हणजे 1s to 18 किंवा 1s to 20 किंवा 1s to 1 किंवा 1s to 15 वगैरे ठेवू शकत नाही त्याच्यापेक्षा जास्त असला तर चालते 1s to 100 वगैरे असेल तर चालते 1s to 1000 असेल तर चालते ओके देन इफ सम काइंड ऑफ ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन्स आर देयर इन बिटवीन द डेस्टिनेशन देन टू गोइंग दी open cuts up to the required depth of the ground surface okay instead of that we have to go for the construction of the tunnels je ka aplo ekadya hilly region madhun vagera road vagera jat asel tar tyachamadhe kay karto tar apan cutting and filling la jato so asa tari tumhala mi aiklela ahe ki baba cutting and filling mhanje kay economy achieve karnyasathi apan kay karto cutting and filling la jato ki jene karun to jo kay road cha construction je ahe te economical hoil okay मग प्रत्येक अपने कट कर पोर्शन बस बसत कट कर अनइकोनॉमिकल होने की शक्यता रहती है कारण ज्यास हिली रिजन है जर का समझा दह मीटर वीस मीटर किस मीटर जर का अपना तथा कट कर पोर्शन तो लैंड एक्विजिशन जे है मोर अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दी कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क ओके सो टू अवॉइड द ओपन कट्स Behind the certain depths, 
we have to prefer the tunnels tunnels avoid disturbing or interfering with surface life and traffic during construction tunnels proves to be cheaper than bridges or open cuts to carry public utility services like water sewer and gas okay through the tunnels we can construct the roadways railways as well as whenever we have to transport the water from one place to the another place as well as sewer or gas uh, gas also okay javas vegla gosti ja ahet ta transport karaycha eka place varun dusra place la tyavelas apan tunneling la jau shakto ki ata nowadays might be you have heard about the uh, tunneling is done uh, underground metro project is going on in uh, mumbai okay and uh, for the construction of tunnels tbm they are using okay tunnel boring machines वगैरे जे आहेत त्याचा वापर करून काय करते तर ते टनेल जे आहेत ते कंस्ट्रक्ट करते आणि त्या टनेलचा वापर करून आपण काय करू शकतोय तर जे काय आपलं रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन असेल किंवा आपलं रेल्वेचं ट्रॅक्स फॉर्मेशन असेल कंस्ट्रक्शन असेल ह्या गोष्टी ज्या आहेत त्या करू शकतोय किंवा तुम्ही अजून अजून एक गोष्ट ऐकलेली असेल बघा जो काय आपला कालवा म्हणतो बघा आपला ओके वॉटर कॅरिंग कॅरी करून घेण्यासाठी जो काय आपण बोगदा तयार करतो त्याला काय म्हणतो कालवा म्हणतो बघा बरोबर आहे की नाही तो पण एक टनेलचा पार्ट आहे आणि आपल्या सोलापूर जिल्ह्यामध्ये आशिया खंडातला सगळ्यात मोठा कालवा आहे तो ओके की त्याच्या थ्रू पाणी वाहून नेलं जाते सिना कोळेगाव मध्ये कुठला कुठला प्रकल्प दोन नाव आठवते का तुम्हाला हम्म सिना नदी आणि आपलं काय ती आहे ती हे चंद्रभागा नदी जे आहे का त्या दोन्हीच जे काही कनेक्शन केलेलं आहे नदी जोड प्रकल्प जो आहे त्याच्यामधला एक पार्ट आहे बघा तो ओके ठीक आहे इफ टनेल्स आर प्रोव्हायडेड विथ इज ग्रॅडियंट द कॉस्ट ऑफ हॉलिंग इज डिक्रीज ओके इन केस ऑफ एरियल वेअर वॉरफिअर अँड बॉम्बिंग ऑफ सिटीज द टनेल्स वुड ग्रँड बेटर प्रोटेक्शन ऍज कम्पेअर टू ब्रिजेस ओके जे काय आता बघतोय आपलं युक्रेन आणि रशियाचं युद्ध त्याच्यामध्ये काय म्हणते की बाबा अंडरग्राऊंड त्यांनी काय केलेले आहेत तर टनेल्स फॉर्म केलेले आहेत ओके तर सहसा तरी जे काय बॉम्बिंग वगैरे व्हायला लागले त्याच्यापासून वाचण्यासाठी ते त्यांना इयर सायरन वगैरे प्रोव्हाइड करून त्यांना ते लोकांना प्रोटेक्ट करण्यासाठी त्यांनी टनेल्स वगैरे फॉर्म केलेले आहेत बघा ओके तर त्या टनेलचा वापर त्यासाठी पण होऊ शकतोय इकॉनॉमिक्स ऑफ टनेलिंग सिलेक्शन ऑफ रूट ऑफ टनेल दॅट वी हॅव टू कन्सिडर द अलाइनमेंट रिस्ट्रेन्स एन्व्हायरमेंटल कन्सिडरेशन सम्स अँड पम्स ग्राउटिंग पायलट टनेल these things we have to consider it okay the lighting of tunnels use of electric lighting sharp sand marking marking manje kay maiti kare construction work kasa alo asta tya vele je kay material raw material tithe padlela asta baka khodlela ka tunnel construct karta astana tithe je kay apan blasting vagere kartoy त्याच्यानंतर पुन्हा जे काय तिथं रॉक किंवा जे काय आपलं अर्थ वगैरे असते ते आपल्याला बाहेर काढण्याची जी काही प्रोसेस आहे त्याला मकिंग म्हणायचं व्हेंटिलेशन ऑफ टनेल इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड ओके डिफरंट मेथड आर दिअर प्रोव्हिजन ऑफ दि व्हेंटिलेशन एक्झॉस्ट मेथड ग्लोइंग मेथड ओके लाइटिंग ऑफ टनेल्स लायनिंग ऑफ टनेल्स ओके लायनिंग ऑफ टनेल्स मीन्स after construction of the tunnel huh. lining of tunnels as like a canal lining we have to go for the lining for the tunneling also okay manje je kai loose rocks wagere ahet construction process madhe rahilele te je kai ahet te fall khali padu nahi wagere tyasathi ko accident hu nahi mhanun apan kay karto tar lining la jatoy okay 
shape and size of tunnel, cross section of a tunnel, and maintenance of a railway tunnels. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh.